G'day, I'm Luke Turple. I've spent most of my life underwater in pursuit of the unknown, but now I'm taking to the skies in search of new adventures in nature. This time, I'm bringing my family along for the ride. Yeah. G'day everyone, welcome to Nature is Fly and happy Shark Week. Today we're headed from Southeast Florida up to Montauk, New York to go and participate in a shark research program. Our friend Dr. Craig O'Connell invited us up because he had a few days off and I asked if we could bring our almost six year old Kayliana up to participate in his program. We're gonna see how to tag sharks, we're gonna do some shark spotting, so it's gonna be a, a really sharky episode. Can't wait to do it, happy Shark Week. It's uh, about 4 a.m., a little bit past four. First sips of tea. Ari's been up since three something. 3.22. The joys of parenthood. Good morning. Wait, it's morning time? Yeah, guess what we're doing today? Huh? <laughs> we're about to get on a plane. Ah! <laughs> Alexa, turn my room to 100%. Okay. <laughs> hey, how do you feel about going, like, to go tag sharks? Shady. Airport's just down the road. About five minutes away, which is pretty lucky. Wait, and the goal is to be off the ground by six. I don't think we're gonna quite hit that, but close enough. Okay, let's see how fast you can run around the plane and I'll count, ready? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, ready, go. This is how we get her energy out. We have her run around the plane. It's actually really fun, kind of funny. She'll run like 10 times around the plane. Four, five. What's wrong? I almost twisted my ankle. Oh, honey. Are you okay? My gosh, we're not having good luck with ankles this morning, huh? I told my you I ankle. couldn't run. It's okay. All right, good to go, girls. Yeah. yeah. All right. Bye. Okay. Now the flying starts. Beautiful blue skies around us. And clear weather ahead, which is pretty nice. Lots of flying today. Uh, about six and a half to eight hours, depending on the weather. Let's uh, get the plane ready and take off. family travel, this is really what you want to see. Anyone with young kids will know that on long travel days, kids sleeping is good because you get there magically, right? Jeez, if she starts getting an attitude and you're 10,000 feet in the air, <laughs> you got five hours left to go. It's a pretty small place to be stuck with a frustrated toddler. <laughs> Boat day. There is Craig. Hey. <laughs> What's up, Luke? You know, just herding cats. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Good to see you, mate. Good to see you. You ready right. for this? We're ready. There right. she is. Kaylee, I want you to meet Dr. Craig hey, O'Connell. How you doing? Hey, he's a doctor and he knows five. everything about the ocean and stuff. I got a couple treats for you. You want to see what they are? Yeah. All right, check it out. Start off the trip, a fossilized shark teeth. So you can hold that, but I have something even cooler. It's gonna be our good luck charm for the entire shoot. Oh my goodness. Ready? Here you go. Oh. And there's a Montauk shark for you. What do you think? You like it? Yeah. All right. That's, so That's a fluffy cool. shark. Isn't that oh, awesome? Well, thank you, Craig. You got it. So we're gonna we're gonna go out and we're gonna probably see sharks that are about that size and then if we're really lucky we're gonna see sharks that are bigger than your dad. What? What do you think? You wanna do it? Have you ever seen a wild shark before? No. So this is gonna be your first time? Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Well what do you say? You wanna get ready and we'll go with the boat? Yeah? Alright, let's do it. Before we actually go out on the boat. Whoa. 
I want to give you a little bit of a lesson about what sharks we might actually encounter. Check it out. Very cool. Hey, Kenny, come sit. Here we go. So, so what set of jaws do you want to start with first? These ones? All right, these are the most special jaws that I have. You want to hold them? Ready? Okay. So I'm going to tell you, I'm going to give you a hint. All right, that's from one of the most iconic sharks out there. One of the biggest. You know, they eat seals. And they sometimes jump. Great white shark. Yes, good job. How did you know? So that's from a baby great white that's only about six feet long. And this is from a very, very big great white that was about 14 feet long. You want to touch that tooth? And what's really neat, guys, so if you look, a lot of people don't know this, but when you have a really small great white, when it's a baby, it's not feeding on seals and whales and things like that. It's actually feeding on things like smaller sharks, stingrays, skates, and other fish. So they can have up to 300 teeth in their mouth at any given time. My friend has two rows of teeth. Your friend has two rows of teeth? That's amazing. She's a real person. Wow, that's amazing. So this is another awesome shark. This lives out in the open ocean. This is from a short fin mako shark. Oh my goodness. And it's I really cool. Makos. There's no serrations on the edge of the teeth. What they do is they bite fish, grasp it, and then they feed on them. Feel it? And this one's even pretty oh, special wow. too. This is what we're gonna be looking for when we're out there. Yeah, these big sharks are cool. But these little ones are even cooler. This is from a dogfish shark. You want to put it in your hand and feel how delicate it is? Those are tiny. So teeth. tiny, right? It sticks to stuff. Yeah, a little bit. It's sticky. Now, they don't eat big fish. Those eat things like crabs, little worms that live at the bottom of the ocean, squid, things like that. And this is a very special tooth. And this is a very old ancestor to some of these great whites and mago sharks. This is from oh, you know what that is, Kaylee. A prehistoric shark species that was absolutely enormous and used to eat whales for their snacks. Do you remember Any the biggest idea? shark ever? It rhymes with <coughs> hegalodon. Megalodon. Yeah, good job. You got a little bit of an education, guys. You think you want to get out on the boat and go see these things in the wild swimming around? Yeah. Yeah, I'm ready for that sharks. Amazing. Ready for sharks? I'm ready. Yeah. yeah. Wow, let's go. Let's go. Here's our right. research vessel. Hey guys. Guys, this is Luke. This is the boat. Kaylee. Hey. Aria. This is Bree and Julia, my awesome staff. And this is our bait for the day. That's good. It's a beautiful blue fish. Kaylee. So you Where's Kaylee? Come check it out. Bait. This is our bait. What do you think? That's a real fish. That's a yeah. real. It's this frozen. Is, you it's it? almost, is it, it almost as big yeah. as you? Let's see. I, I touch it, look. That's yeah. almost as big as you. Hey, look. It's frozen. He's That's telling you a joke. What type of joke is it? <laughs> it's a knock knock joke. <laughs> knock knock knock. It's a little slimy. It's not bad, right? You want to catch one on the way out? I know a special spot. You ever catch a fish before? No? All right, well then we gotta go. We got a lot of work to do. Yeah, that looks gross. Kaylee, knock, knock, knock. Who's <laughs> there? Interrupting fish. Interrupting <laughs> fish. <laughs> Beautiful day out here. Well, we're down one drone already. It uh, took off about one foot and then nosedived for the water piece of junk, but uh, such is life. What are they doing? So this, they're actually baiting an underwater camera trap. It's like we're going to go and spy in the ocean floor. We want to see what's swimming around. So they're putting a bunch of bait in here, and we're going to put a camera right here. And if any sharks are around, hopefully they come up and swim up to the bait cage, and we can film them and see exactly what they are. What do you think? And we're in a spot where there might be some really tiny great white sharks. So maybe we'll get lucky and we'll film one. All right, now we're gonna put this all the way down on the bottom. And we're gonna hope that we see a baby great white shark. So this is a pretty important spot in Montauk. This is Montauk Point. This is where the sound meets the ocean. This is the Atlantic Ocean. 
So the currents collide and you get this really, really strong current here. You get very big waves and there's a bunch of very big fish. And you can sit here and relax, but when it's time, you better get those muscles ready. To do what? To reel a fish in. I need help. I can't do it myself. Today our goal is for Kaylee to see sharks in the wild, and if we see a bunch, we'll also try to tag them. First bite of the day. Holy cow! Whoa! That is a, that's called a winter, a winter skate. All right, so let's just stand back just in case the hook pops out, and then we'll bring it on the deck and we'll get a quick look at it. Ready? Watch out, one, two, three. All right, so this is called a winter skate. This is an adult, and these are really closely related to sharks, and we actually call them pancake sharks. It's a shark that's been flattened, and now it looks like this. Is it gonna go back into the water? So we're gonna put it right back in the water. Now this is different from a stingray. A stingray has a, usually a big barb that comes out here, but skates don't have that. They have a bunch of thorns all over their body that are super, super, um, sharp and can do some damage. So you don't really want to touch these guys. And we can also see that this is a male. This is called, these are called claspers. These are extensions of these fins right here. And when you see that, you know it's a male. And sharks have the same thing. So let's get it. Let's get it up here. I want you to see it. Look. Go crazy. You can get a little bit close. I'm holding it. Look at his beautiful eyes. Look at his beautiful eyes. And we can look at its mouth. See how it doesn't have sharp teeth like a shark does, but they actually have really tiny teeth that they use to crush things. Those are tiny. Look how cute his lips are. We're gonna put it in the water and we're gonna watch it swim away. You ready? Set, go! There it goes. It's swimming good. Right now we're looking for dogfish sharks and blue sharks. We'll catch them on a hook and line, and if they're the right species, sex, and size for Craig's research, we'll tag them before safely releasing them. Whoa, big dogfish shark! All right, we got a shark. Shark! Right, let's see if we can get them in. Ready? Just one, two, three. Awesome. Go ahead, touch his teeth. Go ahead, I got it. I got my fingers in there so I can't clamp down. His fingers are in there. Go ahead. Look, it's so easy. Go touch his teeth. That's so awesome, right? Now this is a smooth dogfish shark. <laughs> it hit me. <laughs> Come here, ready? It hit me on the arm. <laughs> Watch its eyeball. Ready? No! Watch. Let's see if we can get him to do it. See that? You're putting him to sleep? So that's actually, it's, it's called the nictitating membrane. It's an eyelid that goes from the bottom all the way to the top to protect its eye. So I okay, hold it close to you. Let's, let's, nope, let's flip it over. All right. And now, isn't that awesome? Do you want to let it go? Yeah. All right, go ahead. Throw it in. Let's let it go. One, two, three. <laughs> Thank you. Good job, guys. All right. My heart is beating so fast. What? I don't know. There's something about holding a shark. They're like, it's kind of powerful. They're majestic, even the little baby ones. So here's what we're gonna do. Let me show you how this works. What you do is you put the tag right on here, like that, and then you use this rubber band. You can see I've been doing this for a while. I have a lot of rubber bands on here. You use your rubber band to secure the tag like that, and if we catch another big dogfish shark, you're gonna tag it. And what you do is you take it like this, you give it a little bit of a wallop, the tag goes into the shark, and then we can identify that shark if we ever see it again. You mean like you hit that part? Yeah, you hit this, you ever, like a hammer, boom, like that. And then tag the shark, and we're set. You think you could do it? Does it hurt him? No, it won't hurt him. And they'll heal really fast, so they'll be okay. You wanna okay. try it? When you do it, you have to, you have to go for it, okay? You can't just like tap it a bunch of times. Like when Craig says do it, you give it a good hard smack, just like you give me a high five. Right? Like. Really hard. Uh -huh. Maybe not even as hard as you give me high fives. Like your high fives hurt. You're strong. A good hard solid slap. Like uh -huh. do it now. Oh, you could do it. Yeah, you, you can do, do it. it. 
Yeah, see, that hurt. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe not even that hard. That doesn't okay? even hurt at me. I know, because you're so tough. Now on to how to set up a shark rod with Dr. Craig O'Connell. Go! So this is a pretty crazy technique here. <laughs> We're gonna try and get a big fillet of this bluefish. This is fresh bluefish, full of blood, full of oil, all the good stuff. And we're gonna attach it to this very big 16 knot circle fishing hook right here. So we're gonna put it on, hook it through. We got a little weight on here, so it sits down at about, we're gonna fish around 50 feet of water and uh, we're gonna hope for the best. So what, what we're gonna do, Kaylee, is we're gonna bring him in with this rope and I'm gonna take the fish out. Once I take it out, you can throw one of those fish in and he'll eat it right in front of you. Get it! There it is! Oh, right there! Can we throw a fish? Not yet, not yet, not yet. Wait, see if it turns. Throw one right here, right in front, right in front, right here. Yep, yep, there we go. Here it comes, let's see. Throw one more in, one more. Right here, a little bit further out. Hurry, 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 hurry. Blue sharks are really smart. They just keep breaking our gear. So we're gonna keep trying, but if we can't get the next one, we might have to call it a day and head back in. We've seen two blue sharks and now Craig's, Craig's got a big, oh! I'm not even in the gear. <laughs> and it looks like Craig just caught a big one. What, what, what? He's strong. There's a strong shark pulling on him right now. Hello? No. He is acting funny. What's pretty crazy is these blue sharks are absolutely massive, but what people don't realize is that there's even bigger sharks out here that eat these blue sharks, the big great white. And I did just see a very big shark swim under, oh no! I did just see him swim underneath. Uh, but unfortunately he just bit through the line. So what he's doing is rolling and scratching our line and his, his skin is like a bunch of tiny teeth, so it scratches the line, weakens the line, and it pops. So in other words, his dermal denticles scratched the line and popped it. Well, that's our Montauk adventure. I want to say thank you so much to Craig and his crew for having us up here. The crew are holding the cameras right now. Um, but it's been incredible. We've learned all about the sharks up here, and we've seen some amazing stuff in the ocean. Craig. Wrap it up for us, mate. It's been awesome. It's been amazing having you guys here. I'm super impressed with you, Kaylee. You're an amazing shark biologist in the making. And guys, we got to see dogfish, massive blue sharks. You pretty much got to see everything that Montauk has to offer. So thank you so much for coming. Yeah, we scored on the weather and you know, everybody needs to come up and visit this place in the world. I had only heard about it and always dreamed about coming, but it doesn't disappoint. This place is incredible. Kaylee, what do you think about this place? Do it. Nature's fly. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. See you next time, guys.